um, joined a bunch of groups, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. just so I could connect with more people. Do you think, do you feel, or have you run into a particular type of technology that you wouldn't use? You know, you've, you've said like the Twitter, you've said the Facebooks and all mm -hmm. that stuff, but is there something that you're like, you know what, this this isn't for me? Nothing really. I mean, everything looks so cool. You have the iPhone, mm -hmm. you have the Apple book, and at the same time you can have Google Glasses. Um, I live in this condo. My mom bought me this condo, and it's a very nice condo. Thank you, thank you. And um, and that's pretty much it. I'm just living my life, you know, exploring who I am and just doing what I do. For let's say Twitter and Facebook, mm -hmm. I would not have as much information about who is doing what when as I do now. I spent almost nine hours a day on Facebook. Almost nine hours. Almost nine hours. That's my full-time job, I would say. That's why I cannot have a full-time job, and that's why I tell my mom I cannot get a full-time job. Because I need to be on Facebook. Um, you know, you're on the Twitter, you're doing the Instagram thing, you've got the personal website, you've got the Facebook page, you're on the Naked News website as well. Um, how do these technologies help you do what you do? Well, we wouldn't have a show without fans, and you know, social media tools like Instagram and, and Twitter. Instagram is great for me because, you know, I post these ridiculous half-naked selfies of myself and, well, I guess a selfie is a photo of yourself. Mm -hmm. Done, see? And um, I get a whole bunch of followers that, you know, are on Instagram because they want to see women in various states of undress and uh, it drives quite a bit of traffic to my site, which is a pay site, so um, people go, they get through the paywall, and they get to see me naked. This interview better not take too long, I want to get back to my games, damn it. We did have a conversation where I have to talk to her at least if I'm going to renew my Xbox Live or my online subscriptions. You know, I have to let her know and justify why I'm doing it. But I mean, really, with video games, there is no justification. It's I have to do it. Not so much a need to do it. I have to. It is a need. No man, it's all video games. It has to be. This is you know everything's connected online now. Like I can tweet from my games. Hell, I can even send Instagram shots of my greatest kills and stuff like that now at this point. You know, everything's connected and everything's online at this point, so everything that I do, everyone's going to know in some capacity or manner that I'm the greatest and the best at these video games that I play in hell, you know. If I can't have that, you know, it's like taking away my Taco Bell. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to live. You know, there's no reason to live in life if I can't have my Mountain Dew and Doritos. I started to draw fan art, and when I showed that to one of my classmates that I wanted to be friends with, she just blasted out laughing and started calling me baby because I drew baby pictures and like drawing for babies. So therefore, I had this kind of a little social anxiety back then, and I relied everything on the internet because the internet is where I can find someone who has the same interest as me. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And then I started to be more open after high school, around college. 